everyone. My name is Kura Hap and I'm from the beautiful island of Rarotonga. And I love fishing. These days, with increasing pressure of overfishing, we all need to find sustainable ways to harvest our kaimuana. And so Anku is going to teach us some traditional fishing techniques that our ancestors have been using for many years. Welcome to Fish and Tips. Kia ora na, kia ora nāko. Um, so today, I want to talk about what is drop stone fishing. Drop stone fishing is a form of midwater fishing method. It's a method where you place your your bait, your chum, you use chum, mm. and drop this down to a predetermined depth, and then you release the package. I also want to know what are the benefits of drop stone fishing, and is it a sustainable way of fishing? Um, it's quite a, a good sustainable fishing method and you're using materials that's around you like leaves, stones or, or used old clamshells. My papa have, has mentioned different variations of dropstone fishing. They have various variations of this um, dropstone fishing. I know them all, all of them. Yeah, I can show you each one in the next few days. how to prep for dropstone fishing and what materials we need to use. Okay, so for um, dropstone, you need this thing. This it's a thing. stone, huh? There's a river stone and there's one I found off the beach. This is a coral type stone. So you need stones, one stone per drop. So say if you lived on a tiny little atoll and there were no stones on the side, what else could you use instead of a rock? So if you're on a small atoll, you don't have river rocks, you can't import lead. Some people have used, resorted to as clamshells. Yes, The giant clams. And for leaves, you need something heavy white. This is Barringtonia leaf. It's very common along the beach in many of the countries. It's also a little bit poisonous, mm. so don't use this as a plate. You can use a leaf to wrap your chum mm -hmm. and your, your bait. Or you can just put the chum and bait directly onto the stone. You need circle hooks, shaped kind of like a circle. Preferably not J hooks. What is the difference? Why would you use just that and not both? We prefer to use this because um, when the fish bites that, the hook rotates around the jaw okay. of the fish's mouth. It's a self sitting hook. You need clips. One clip, either a coast lock, a corkscrew, or a snap. You need lots of line, about 1.6 to 2 millimeter diameter, 200, 300 odd meters. You can either put it on a plastic spool like this, or you can make a wooden hand reel. So say it's down in deep in the water, and you've caught a fish. How would you know? How would you know there's a fish on? Okay. Can I do it? Yeah. Hold it tight. Okay. It'll yes, okay. Like <laughs> It'll pull you. Place the baited hook on the flattest side of the stone. Take a few wraps of leader line around it to hold it in place. Place pieces of chum on the top of the bait, a few at a time, with more wraps of leader line taken around them each time. If you're using the leaf drop stone method, load the bait and chum onto the leaf first and then wrap it into a neat package. Repeat wrapping the leader and main line until it forms a tightly bound package. Now wrap the line over your thumb and make a wrap in the opposite direction as the first few wraps. 
Form a loop and pass it under this reserve wrap, about two or three tucks. And pull on the end of the loop to tighten the whole package. The tightly wrapped line will hold the loop in place until the fisher releases it with a sharp tug. Pay out 10 meters of slack line using your arm span. Drop the parcel gently into the water. Keep feeding out the line to your desired fishing net. Make sure not to slow or stop the line too early as it could jerk the package open by accident. Gently stop the main line when you have reached the desired fishing depth. Give several sharp tugs to the line to release the bait and the chum while the stone sinks freely away. Okay, now wait for the bite. To wrap up, Uncle has passed on his top tips for drop stone fishing. Tip number one, wash your hands with soap and water before touching the gear and so the bait is clean for the fish. Tip number two, bring a chopping board so you don't get chum all over your boat. Tip number three, keep the slip knot loops short so that it doesn't cause any tangles.